Hi guys, the Red Road Army Girl here. Tonight we'll be discussing smokeless powder reloading. It's pretty much basically the same as reloading with black powder. You put your primer, size and die, your decapper, size and die in, and your your um, shell holder adjust. I hope the lighting's a little bit better. These are carbide dies so you don't have to use lube. There we go. One fresh deprimed case. Let's do another. If you're using just steel dies you will have to use something like this RCBS Number two, case lube. These are thirty eight special that we're reloading. Okay, so you put in your priming die and your shell holder. Bring it up flush. These take small. The CCI small pistol primers, 500. Then you just take your shell, the prime shell, slide it in. Like a nutcracker, you just bring it up. That's why I call it the nutcracker. sake this is all I'm gonna do on these next we'll put in our C or it's, it's and I can see up in there and now that I got the light guess not there's a little die inside here that Flares the head of your case out. Push it up in there and you can put your funnel on top and dump your powder charges in too. I'm going to go ahead and flare these. I'm going to do that because it's where the powder charges come in that you really have to be careful with smokeless powder. I'm going to get to that right now. First, you're going to need a reloading book of some sort. This is a spear, an old spear reloading book. And you're going to need, I'm going to set this aside for a moment. You're going to need a, one of these doohickeys, a powder scale, and we're going to, I don't know if I forgot the exact weight of these bullets, so we're going to weigh the bullet too. The way this works is you turn it on, letting go zero, zero, put your scale your uh, cup on it when the number stops moving hit tar and you're calibrated now we'll take this semi wide cutter and ease it in there they're 165 green so uh, I 
And I don't have no floating battle for 165 grain, but I do for 160. So I'm going to go with a low on the unique here on the 160 grain. You always want to start out low and work up. And I'm going to use these powder measures here to help me. These things to help me get my stuff weighed out. I got the unique marked with a blue pink marker. Let's say the low is 4.9 grams of unique. That would be the five, the zero point five zero here. I drop out four point six, so that's pretty close, and we can trickle the numbers from there. Okay. That's what they look like. Gotta redo this. Um, it helps to have a manual one as well. But for the sake of time, we're gonna do it this way. This is unique powder labeled. The thing about loading smokeless powder, you cannot go a few grains over. That's four one. Yeah, it's four nine. Three. I gotta get a powder trickler. Alright, that's 4.9, just what I was looking for. And then, I'll just take my and we'll do it again. Four nine. Do it one more time. Four five. Well, I put the bullet seating die on my, my press. I'll be right back. Okay, so with smokeless powder, you most definitely want to get a flash shot. And shine down there. Make sure you did not double charge 
Because if he's dead, he got a bomb. A little five, six grains over on black powder, as long as there's not an air gap, and it's going to make a bigger boom. If you're five or six grains over the charge, with smokeless powder, you got you have a grenade. As you can see, these are lubed. Since somebody mentioned that my other one wasn't lubed, it was lubed, but I just didn't mention it. This was lubed, and it has a gas check on it for higher velocities. Put our casing in there. Fix our shell. I'm gonna just. Ram it home. And on this, I actually think it could come down just a little bit. So I'm going to ram it back in there. There we go. Nice. Good 38 special. Go ahead and do another one. How pretty those turned out. <laughs> really pretty. And these bullets were um, donated to the channel by Rob. Millet. 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 I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's a good guy though. He lives a little bit farther up than north of me in Mississippi. He was so kind to bring me these by. That's pretty much all there is to it. Of course, you want to... You want to get your overall length here. The overall Link. And you want to gauge it, of course, with your dial. Pretty close. Then there's the one next check. Final check. Just drop in there with these. This off my 51 Navy conversion. And they're just slightly blue flush. Just like I like them. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much their. Oh, there is to it on the basic level. I mean, just like at the beginning of the other video, you may have to use one of these to trim your brass. And you may have to, you know, de deburr your brass. Clean your primer pockets from time to time, but Basically, on the most basic sense, that's all there is to it. It's not hard to do at all. This is a uh, regular old army girl out. Yep.